scientists have said they've created the world's first human-monkey hybrid, saying that it was created in a laboratory in China. The reason for creating the hybrid was so that researchers could use its organs to save people's life. The idea is that these will be given to people that need life-saving transplants. The scientists and researchers have said they plan to carry on their research by using primates. As you can imagine, when this news was announced there was quite the reaction. There's those that believe we shouldn't play God, and that we should leave things how they are, while others argue that it's the next step in our evolution. Further saying that because we are the superior species we should be carrying out these tests. The team that created the hybrid said they'd injected human stem cells into a monkey embryo. However, the team stopped before the embryo was old enough to be born. The researchers were confident in their work, and said that human-monkey hybrid could have been born. Angel Rea of the Barcelona Regenerative Medicine Center said the following. What happens if the stem cells escape and form human neurons in the brain of the animal? Would it have consciousness? And what happens if these stem cells turn into sperm cells? However, other researchers said if this was the case, the cells would simply self-destruct. Estrella Nones of Mercia Catholic University in Spain said the following. The results are very promising. If we combine the human pig, human rat and human monkey research, it's many hundreds of thousands of euros. Other researchers have come forward and said it's a step in the right direction, and that further tests should be carried out. Humanity has been in a constant state of evolution. We're incredibly intelligent and this is backed up by various inventions and scientific discoveries. These discoveries can range from advanced research into different forms of medicine, inventions of new and complex machines, and even the discovery of already occurring phenomena that was otherwise unknown. One of the biggest questions surrounding DNA is what causes it to work the exact way it does. For those that are not aware, every single cell in your body contains the same DNA code inside of its nucleus, and the nucleus itself works to act like the brain of the cell, and carries out the specific growth and functions needed to perform a specific job that is communicated via the strands of DNA inside it. Genetic modification is a controversial topic. There are many arguments for and against it. However, one thing that can be agreed on is that it has helped us in understanding things about our body. Recently, it was announced that genetically modified T-cells have been observed destroying cancerous cells. The cells in question came from mice. The experiment showed researchers that these cells actually hunted for the tumor cells. Once found, it started the process of breaking them down. Scientists have now come forward and said this is promising for humans. Although these types of experiments are frowned upon by some, scientists say it could help save many lives in the future. The researchers and scientists involved said they've seen a major resurgence in interest in reprogramming T-cells to take down cancerous cells. Many have been excited by this news as it could mean that trials could start on humans. So what do you make of these types of experiments? And do you think we should carry on? Be sure to let us know your thoughts in the comment section below, and help us by growing this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching, and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.